Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem where it says replace the three forces acting on the shaft by a single resultant force and then measure where the force act in the first part around point A, right here, and around point B, right here. Make sure I'm in the right. Okay, perfect. So let's get started. So for this thing, you, you need to understand that each force can be broken down into two components, a Y component and an X component. And same thing for this one. We have a Y component and an X component. And you need to understand that the X components are really not generating any moment. So, when you're calculating the moments, all you need to do is find the Y components. So, some of the forces in the X, I'm going to write it here, but some of the forces in the Y, it's the only thing that we're going to take into consideration for the moment. So, in the Y, we have minus 500 assuming uh, down is negative and up is positive. Minus 500 times 3 over 5 for the y component of this force. Minus 200 because this force is going straight down. Minus 260 times 12 over 13. So that gives you negative 740 pounds for some of the forces in the Y. Now, some of the forces in the X are minus 500, assuming that right is positive and left is negative, minus 500 times 4 over 5 for this one plus 260, whoops, 60, times 5 over 13 for this one. Now this one is going straight down, so it has no x component. And that gives you minus 300 pounds for the x component. So that this force looks something like this, minus 300 minus 740, so the force looks something like that. Now, we got to find the sum of the moments about A to do the first part, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to the Y component of the first force, which we know is 500 times 3 over 5, but we got to multiply it by the lever arm, which is this one, which is 5. And since counterclockwise is positive, this will be negative because it's trying to turn the shaft this way. For the second one, which is 200 pound force, it's also generating a negative counterclockwise motion and it's multiplied by the lever arm of 5 plus 3, which is 8 times 200. And the last one, which is the Y component of the 260 pound force times 12 over 13, and you have to multiply it by 5 plus 3 plus 2, which would be 10. And it's also negative because it's going, it's turning the shaft clockwise, or trying to turn the shaft clockwise. When you add this all up, you get that this is equal to minus 5,500 foot pounds. So, if you had to find D, remember the only thing generating moment is the Y component of the forces. So, is this, and you 
times d is equal to the moment so d is equal to the sum of the moments over the force which would be minus 5500 sorry you don't really have to put the sign over 740 this is foot pounds and this is pounds so the pounds cancel each other out and for d you get 7.432 you know that the movement is negative therefore it's clockwise so this force is to the right of a at 7.432 which will be somewhere around there so final answer for the first part which is around a now let's do the second part actually I'm making a little mistake here which is the force is actually going that way which is just like this now let me do the second part remember from the first part that we found that the x component is negative 300 and the y component is minus 740 so with this information all you got to do is find the moments around b which are equal to from here assuming counterclockwise is positive all the moments by these three forces are counterclockwise so they're going to be positive the first one from the right is 260 times 12 over 13 because it's only the y component of the force which times 4 which is this distance plus 200 times 6 which is the second one times this distance plus 500 times 3 over 5 times 9 which is this distance 3 plus 2 plus force 9 so when you plug this into your calculator you're gonna get that you get 4860 foot pounds And you know that the distance d is equal to the moment over the equivalent force, but only the y component because the x component is not generating any momentum. So d is equal to 4860 foot pounds over 740 pounds. Cancel the pounds and you get that d is equal to 6.2. 57 feet you know that the moment is positive assuming counterclockwise is positive so the shaft is trying to turn this way so you know that d is to the left of b so 6.57 will be somewhere around there and we know that the force is more or less that way so final answer and final answer for that distance